Hi everyone, my name is Meher and as promised, today's video is going to be some tips and tricks to stay productive while studying or working from home since we all have some extra time at home these days. So the first thing I would recommend is waking up early and not lingering on in bed for too long. Productivity is directly related to having a routine so it's important that we set a daily routine for ourselves and stick to a schedule especially if we're going to be home all day. I really like starting my mornings by finding a quiet corner in my home and spending some time alone by myself before work begins for the day. They say how you start your day is how you're going to live your day which is why I think this time in the morning is very important to truly reflect on oneself and be grateful for what we have in life. Which is why I would really recommend starting your day by practicing gratitude and just making a list of the things that you are grateful for. It won't take you more than 5 minutes but it will start your day on a positive note. I then try and meditate just for a few minutes by taking a few deep breaths and clearing my mind and not focusing on anything but myself and my breathing. It's a great way to clear your mind before it gets occupied by all the tasks you have to do for the day. If you want to be productive, you have to feel productive, which is why I would recommend getting dressed and ready for the day before you begin work. Another way to keep yourself motivated is to divide your day into mini tasks. One of those mini tasks for me is to have clean surroundings and I start by making my bed in the morning after my husband wakes up. Instead of working from your bedroom, create one corner of your house which would be your productive workspace. Fill this space up and organize yourself with all the things that you would need through the day in order to keep your motivation high. I always try and make sure that my desk is not too cluttered, that I always have water in front of me and that my chair is comfortable. The first thing that I do is literally a brain dump and make to-do lists for all the tasks that I have to do through the day, both personal as well as professional. This way I make sure that all the things on my mind are not just thoughts but are tasks written down somewhere for me to refer back to. The next thing I do is put the most important task for the day right in front of me. There's always so much going on through the day and so many things come up but this little trick makes me want to do that task first and finish it off. While studying or working, I've always tried to follow the Pomodoro Technique which is a time management method that suggests that we should break down our work into intervals traditionally of 25 minutes in length and then take short breaks of 5 minutes each before getting back to work again. Another thing to do is to keep yourself hydrated by sipping water throughout the day and not waiting to feel thirsty. One of my favorite drinks these days is hot water with lemon in it. This type of lemon water helps prevent the common cold and is a great source of vitamin C. One of the ways to keep yourself motivated is to make things interesting. Make notes in different forms, use different types of stationery, challenge yourself or listen to motivational music. Do different types of things to keep yourself motivated throughout the day. Staying true to the Pomodoro technique, I would really recommend taking mini breaks of 5 to 10 minutes each after regular intervals. This break could just mean you getting up from your desk and taking a walk around the house or grabbing something to eat. I don't know about you but sitting on a desk all day really makes me feel hungry. And with all this extra time at home, we do have the opportunity to make healthy snacks for ourselves. Like here, I'm making a strawberry and banana smoothie, the easiest and most filling snack ever. And then it's time to be back on the desk, more notes, more research, more calls, more work for the next 25 minutes. And this cycle continues for the next few hours, until after lunch when I truly need a break. 
When we start to feel drained or overworked, we should really try to do the activities that bring us joy. And one of the luxuries of working or studying from home is having more control over our calendar and time. So whenever we feel like we really need a break, we should take out time to do the things that make us feel refreshed again. For me, that could be reading a book, listening to some music or talking to my loved ones. And then it's time to be back on the desk for one final stretch of work. While working or studying from home, we can tend to overwork, which is why it is important to have clear boundaries and switch off at a reasonable hour by clearing up your desk in the evening when you're done for the day. My final recommendation would be to go outside either to your garden, balcony or terrace by yourself and get some fresh air. This will really help you not to get too overwhelmed and truly unwind for the day. I really hope you found these tips useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends so that they can stay motivated during this time as well. Until next time my friends, see you soon. Bye.